Muslim politician eats spit of quote unquote untouchable priest in message of unity. To spread a message of brotherhood, Zamir Ahmed Khan, a Muslim politician and member of Legislative Assembly or MLA from uh, Karnataka, fed food to a Dalit, meaning the outcast group previously known as untouchables, a Dalit priest, and then asked the priest to spit it out, which he then ate. The video of the jester has non, now gone viral. This incident occurred at an event to mark on Bedkar Janyati, a celebration of anti-caste activist, critic of Hinduism, and writer of the Indian constitution, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. A big round of applause followed as Khan consumed the spit of the quote-unquote untouchable priest. Indian social media gave mixed reactions to this jester that challenged numerous social taboos. Some thought it was over the top, while others appreciated the action, but found it a bit gross. Wait, so <laughs> everyone's like, "Oh, ew!" <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so the, she. <laughs> so okay, so explain to me this: the priest is a Dalit. Yes. And the man is what? He's a Muslim politician, or a politician okay, who happens so to be Muslim. So, so for people who don't know what Dalits are, Dalits are not just the lowest caste, they're outcasts, like they're the untouchables in India, like they're at the bottom at the, from the, in the caste hierarchy. They're so outside of the caste hierarchy that they're considered not touchable. That's how, again, I don't want to say more because you two might think I'm saying that, right? So this, uh, this Muslim politician to show how much they're not untouchable, they're like, I eat your spit. That's how not untouchable you are, right? Do you want to yeah. see the video? Wait, you, you sent me the video. Wait, hold on. Yeah, it's in the show notes. Okay, here we go. Wait, do we want to do it with audio? Yeah, let's do it with audio. Yeah. There uh, we go. Okay, let's do this. Brace yourselves. Wait, there's no audio. Hold on. There's no audio. Wait, there's no audio. Anyways, I think it's good enough. <laughs> So what happens don't... is first the politician Khan he he like gives the Dalit priest some food, and the priest is going to go give him some food, and he said no, like I want it out of your mouth, like that's the, that's what the one I want. And, and people, then... cheer. oh my god, it's so gross when you watch it. But okay, so I thought this was really interesting. Well, one because it is a bit over the top. Um, but this is actually breaking like multiple social taboos. At first, I thought it was just the the Dalit thing, right? But then I realized mm. that not only is it breaking the taboo of, it goes beyond looking at a Dalit. It goes beyond eating food cooked by a Dalit. We're going to the level of eating the spit of a Dalit, right? So it's, it's challenging untouchability to like the nth degree. Um, but then I realized that this is also challenging the Muslim or Islamic taboo of Najis. Because <gasps> yeah. technically, if, even if this man wasn't a Dalit, it would still be quote unquote unclean from for a Muslim to eat food cooked by a non-Muslim, let alone spit from another person's mouth <laughs> or, or, you know, <laughs> food from his mouth. Like a little baby bird, you know, like <laughs> the mama chews it and the baby eats it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it was> <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, okay, people say they can't watch. Let me stop this. Yeah, just moment. please pause it. Um <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I thought this was very interesting. What what do you think about this, Armin? All right, so that's yeah, actually that's very interesting because in Hinduism you have that you can't eat food prepared by the Dalits, and in Islam, non muslim anything that, food prepared by non-Muslims or anything that touches non-Muslims is dirty, spiritually dirty for you to eat, right? So this is breaking two taboos at the same time, but the most important taboo that they shouldn't be breaking is spreading germs okay especially at an era where we're de where we're dealing with a pandemic okay that's one taboo 
you shouldn't be breaking. I encourage those other taboos being broken, but this is a taboo that I endorse, I support, okay? Not spreading your germs, okay? This is not good. Like, are they not, are not, are they not breaking like anti-pandemic regulations? That's a good law, okay? So your Islamic rules are nonsense. I'm glad you're breaking them. Your Hindu rules are nonsense. I'm glad you're breaking them, okay? But rules around not spreading germs, okay? Those are sensible. You shouldn't be breaking them. You should be keeping those. And, and was there no other way? Was there no other gesture? I am I am triggered because they're doing this right under the name of Dr. Ambedkar. I don't think Dr. <laughs> Ambedkar would approve this. Look at this. Like the, the, his picture is right there. Like this is like blasphemy against our holy doctor. Our secular <laughs> doctor. Okay. I... <laughs> The unbed car blasphemy. Um, yeah, so that was so I follow like pretty much every mainstream Indian news source on Instagram. And so I kind of like to gauge the reaction of people in India, like from what I see in the interactions uh, on these pages online. And that was Armin, that was pretty much the exact same reaction of most people when this was posted on Instagram. They're like, okay, this is nice and all, but like we have some like public health rules nowadays. <laughs> like... yeah. I mean, yeah, is it nice? Yeah, I mean, uh, if this is your kink, by the way, I didn't mean it like that. I'm not trying to kink shame anybody, right? If you're like, I know a lot of people are into uh, uh, spit exchanging um maybe like if okay so if you want to do that go get tested maybe both of you before like i'm pretty sure they, they i'm almost sure that these people were not they didn't go get tested and everything before they did this okay there are ways for you to do that kink whatever that is to and keep like keep it healthy and safe you know we did get a super mm -hmm. chat uh, wait, no, I want to address that at the end because I will address that at the end. Okay. Um, so one thing I do want to say is that the reason why I continue to use the word untouchable in our titles or in um the ways that I talk about these things when um we're doing the new summaries is uh, I know that untouchable is a politically incorrect term, but outside of India, Dalit is not a term that most people know or like would identify with. But if they hear untouchable, they're like, oh, I know what that means. I understand a little bit more of the social like location and they understand the relevance of the story more. So, like I said, I know it's not the right term to use or most people don't appreciate the use of that term, but I'm in favor of, of you for the because for the sake of more people actually reading the news and getting the story. I use it because I think it would actually. No, 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 no. no. Even more. even even I think untouchable is a great word because it disgusts people. When you tell people that these are the untouchables, right? It, you, you're doing a better job at shaming the practice, the shaming the association, shaming the the hierarchy, shaming the the caste system, right? Mm -hmm. Like it, it highlights what it's it highlights how disgusting of an ideology it is to to deem certain people untouchable. I think it's wonderful to call it to call it by that name because it it. it it causes the proper response that you need to have to that idea, to that um, to that mentality. I think anyway, that's what I think. Oh, that's a very interesting uh, perspective. Yeah, flip it on its head. Um. Uh. Okay. So let's go to some comments. Forever Stormy is saying, "You. It doesn't matter what the, the spirit of the gesture was. Just, just hug it out, guys." <laughs> Hey, no kink shaming. Okay. Uh, well, funny you should say that because Blink name is saying mm, kind of kinky. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Blank name after the news, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait, what are the chances? What are the chances that certain people that are into this is their kink? They're like, hey, let's 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 do this more. That's like actually, I'm I'm completely in support of us showing this gesture to more people and then use this as I would excuse. like to promote this kind of behavior. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, Oxymoron is saying he should have kissed him. It would signal to the LGBTQ community too. <laughs> 
I feel like oxymoron. I think you're saying that a little bit cynically, you know, like, oh, this is a political ploy, but I'm going to full heartedly say yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unabashedly, yes. Oh my God. Do you think and... this comment from Kanye Baba is too sensitive for YouTube? Um, we could say, though. we could call it, yeah, it's funny. Let's call it, let's use the Rona name. Yeah, yeah. Kanye Baba is saying, that's how we Indians produce new Rona variants. <laughs> <laughs> Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.